Katie. Welcome back to Cookie Week. I'm going to make another cookie today. This time we're going to make frosted pineapple cookies. I have never made a pineapple cookie or a cookie with crushed pineapple. It sounds really interesting and I thought I would give it a try. So you can kind of see the ingredients there. I'll also list them down in the description box so that you can refer to them yourself. It first says to drain an 8 ounce can of crushed pineapple. Drain an 8 ounce can of crushed pineapple. Drain an 8 ounce can of crushed pineapple. Well, I have this 16 ounce jar, so I am just going to measure out um, 8 ounces of it. And then it says, reserve three tablespoons of the juice for the frosting. Okay. And for now, we'll just set those aside. Okay, and now in the mixer, I'm going to cream together the shortening and the sugar. Okay. <clears throat> Add the egg. Okay, next add the pineapple and vanilla. Next, we're going to combine the flour, the baking powder, and the baking soda. And the salt. Okay, and now we're going to add this to the creamed mixture. Put that in. This is very soft. Drain an 8 ounce can of crushed pineapple. Almost looks like a cake batter. That's what it looks like. Okay, I have my oven preheating and I'm going to go ahead and scoop these out two inches apart. Alright, so that's the last of it. I'm actually three cookies short from what it says. It's supposed to be three dozen, but I guess mine are just a little bit bigger but I use my cookie scoop. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in and we'll see how they turn out. All right, so while those are baking, I'll go ahead and make the frosting. I'm just gonna use the same bowl that I measured the pineapple in. I'm gonna put the three tablespoons of pineapple juice and add some powdered sugar. So that's just the pineapple juice and some powdered sugar. I'll just stir this to make a frosting. Okay, it's supposed to be a smooth spreading consistency. This is a little bit runnier, but I think what I'm going to do is just pour it over and let the excess run off. That way there's not a ton of frosting on. Um, what I ended up doing is thinning out the frosting a little bit because I don't want to have a ton of extra sugar in these cookies so I added a little bit more pineapple juice to make it more of like a drizzle and I'm gonna just do sort of a zigzag design like this just to give them a little something because they are kind of plain looking I went ahead and put some yellow sugar. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I should have just left them. Mm. 
These cookies are soft and cake-like, and they're not bad, they just don't have that much pineapple flavor. And I wasn't really impressed with them, and I wasn't going to make them again. But I was talking to my mom, and she said that her mom, my nana, made a really great pineapple cookie that my uncle loved. It was his favorite cookie. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm ever going to lay my hands on my grandmother's recipe. But I wanted to give pineapple cookies another try, so I made some changes and made this recipe again. This time I used my dairy-free butter substitute and white sugar, partly because that's what I had on hand, but partly because I was trying to make these a little less cake-like and more cookie-like. I also replaced the crushed pineapple with pineapple chunks that I ended up mashing up a little bit. So they were a little bit smaller than pineapple chunks, but more coarse than crushed pineapple. So you can see my cookie dough looks more like cookie dough and less like cake batter, and there's a lot more pineapple throughout and larger chunks, and it looked very promising. So I put it out on my trays, baked it as usual, and this is what it looked like when it came out. So these are still definitely cake-like cookies, but I think the texture is much better. The flavor is much, much better. It's so delicious. A nice, good pineapple flavor. If I make this again, I think I'm going to add nuts. Maybe some chopped up walnuts, or maybe even macadamia nuts. And maybe a little bit of coconut. Coconut extract, or a little coconut, um, you know, mixed in might be good as well. So I'm going to put both versions of this recipe down below. If you want to try it, I'd love to know what you think about it. You can leave me some comments down below, or if you take a picture, you can always tag me on social media. All of my links will be in the description if you want to check me out. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode of Cookie Week. Bye!